Hello everyone, so yesterday I came across a pretty interesting glitch in Horizon Zero Dawn that I had never seen before. And as you can see right here, I am Child Aloy in the open world of Horizon Zero Dawn. Something that, well, as you know, normally is not supposed to happen. So naturally, when I got this glitch completely on accident, by the way, I had to explore and figure out what I could do with it. And as you can see right here, things got pretty interesting as the game pretty much fell apart. So without further ado, I will now go over the glitch and show you what I found. So the first thing I did, of course, from here was to go down the path and see if Ross still would be there looking over the embrace. Because I noticed that the game still told me that the quest was the point of the spear. But as you can see, it shows me no game objectives or quest objectives. So I went down there and as you can see, Rust is not there. So it looks like he's not loaded in and as I explored more of the world, it turns out not really much is loaded in. So therefore I journeyed back towards Rust's house and when I got there, I noticed the door was not loaded into the house, meaning that I could now walk inside Rust's house, a place you normally only see in the cutscenes of the game. But now I am able to explore freely inside the house, as you can see right here. And if you are really into photo mode, you're probably wondering right now of all the shots you could probably take with Child Aloy inside this house, as it's probably a great opportunity for some good shots. Now this of course leads to the natural question that you probably all have right now. Well, can I do this glitch myself? And the answer is yes, but it depends on some things. But I will go over that at the end of this video. But for now, my journey continued, so now I needed an easy way to get down to the rest of the embrace so I could explore more of the world. If you do end up exploring this glitch for yourself, this is the easiest way to get down that I'm showing right here. All you gotta do is walk out the house on the right and then follow around to this spot right here. Then go around to the left hand side here and then right next to the rock here on the right, there's a long hill you can slide down easily. Just make sure you don't jump or roll as you're going down. All you have to do is just hold your thumbstick forward and Aloy will easily slide down here. And then when I got down here, I noticed that I was fairly close to the odd Grata side quest. So I headed over there to see if Grata would be there. But to my surprise, she wasn't actually there and none of her stuff was. But as you can see, the quest marker is still there, but none of her stuff is there and Grata is nowhere to be found. Even walking up to the quest marker, there's nothing there and you can't interact with anything. Then I of course had the idea to go to the other two side quests in the embrace, called In Her Mother's Footstep and The Forgotten to see if they would be different. But they were not, it turned out it was the exact same thing. The quest giver wasn't there, only the quest marker was there and again, nothing to interact with. So therefore I decided to explore the rest of the embrace just to see what I could find and if there would be any NPCs around or if Aloy was truly alone in the world. So I first went to Mother's Heart and there I found out that there was another building without a door. And this is the building of course you enter before the proving starts. Then I went to explore the place where the childhood section normally takes place and everything seemed fairly normal there except there wasn't any machines of course. I did however find the camp that is part of the Forgotten Quest that spawned in, so I knew that I was on the adult version of the map as this camp is not here when you're in the childhood section. I then wanted to go up to Old Mother Mountain and when I got here to Mother's Watch I noticed the gates were open. This is the area where you'd normally fight the first Corruptor. So in this area because the doors were open this made me believe that all doors that could be open at some point would be in this glitch version of the game. Now this also happens with other glitches in the game, for example the Zero Dawn glitch we use to glitch out the world that we use in speedruns also removes all the doors in the world that can be open and closed. So it seems like this has a similar effect. However, when I got close to the entrance of All Mellow Mountain, I saw something that I had never seen before. The inside of the mountain simply wasn't there and it was just looking out into a void. And you probably had the same question that I had when I came to this void, what happens if you go into it? Well, it turns out you fall and eventually you die because you fail out of the map. 
and after this loading screen I simply spawned back at Rasta's house, but I was still child Aloy, meaning that the glitch was stuck on this checkpoint. Now in this world there's no campfires that you can use, they do appear on the radar as you can see, but the campfires are simply not there, so you can't quick save or manually save. So if every time I die or I respawn, I'm spawning all the way back at Rasta's house and I have to begin the journey anew. But my experience at All Mother Mountain gave me the idea that maybe other inside places are also voids. So therefore that led me to the ruins inside the embrace, because that's another place that counts as being inside completely on the map. And when I got there, it turns out I was right, the ruins is also just a hole with a void in it. So after exploring most of the embrace, I came across something strange, and you might remember what I showed in the beginning of the video where the world became really broken. Well, it turns out if you journey far enough away and go towards the eastern side of the embrace, that's where the world starts to break apart. Or in other words, things just become a bit more stretched or more flattened, or at the very least just missing a lot of its detail, as you can see in the world right here. It's a little hard to describe, but it basically just looks like the graphics have been turned down quite a bit and all of a sudden things just look, well, very simplistic, but it has all these spiky things around, which I assume is some sort of hitboxes uh, that are, or things that are normally tall. Uh, hard to describe exactly what I'm seeing here, but as you can see, well, things are kind of weird as you get further away from the beginning section of the game in the embrace. And some of these spiky things don't really have hitboxes, so you can just kind of walk into them, and all of a sudden you're standing on top of the wall, where, which basically means there is a hitbox, but, well, the visuals doesn't really match it. And as you can see, it's just kind of weird and strange how the world is behaving right now. From my exploring in this, I can say that hitboxes seem to be generally the same as it is for the normal map when you play the game regularly. It's just that the textures are kind of bugged out and mushy. Even going down to the water right here, you can see the water is still there, but it's pretty flat and it has no motion to it. But it still works like water, I could walk out into it and start swimming. So now I wanted to go out and explore and see what the rest of the world looks like. And as you can see right here, I'm literally running on nothing. That's because the hitbox is still there, but some of the textures supporting that hitbox is not there. And as you can see, things still look pretty much the same here, very mushy, the water is just kind of flat and there. Some of the trees look like they have some texture to them, but they don't look quite right. And things in the distance still look pretty good, but I assume that has something to do with how the game renders things in the distance. So as I went out into the world, I eventually came to Mother's Crown. But right here I came across an issue. I needed to cross a bridge. But since the hitbox was there, I just couldn't see it, I had to use the map in order to tell exactly the direction I needed to go, in order to not fall down and get stuck. So when exploring, you gotta be a little bit careful and creative with how you traverse the world. Because remember, all the hitboxes are there, you just can't really see them. And as I came into Mother's Crown, you might see something familiar. More quest markers, but again, no quest givers. Also, none of the houses were spawned in, and the world generally just looked kind of broken. And the further I reached out of the map, it seemed like things were gonna get more and more broken from there. I even came across this merchant that's normally here in Mother's Crown, and the symbol was just flat on the ground. But again, no merchant to interact with. And from here, my curiosity took over, and I wanted to see the entire world. So while I was on my way to the Kaja territory, I came across Day Tower right here. And as you can see, Day Tower was basically non-existent at this point. And as I crossed into the Kaja territory, well guess what? All of a sudden there was no longer any hitboxes, and I fell into the void again. Of course I was really annoyed that I had to go all the way back to Rasta's house again and begin the journey all over. But then again, I am a speedrunner, so I guess this was more or less just a reset. So on my second trip, I wanted to go to Dawn Sentinel instead, or the Northern Kaja border crossing, because I thought, hey, maybe there's a chance I can get through to the Kaja territory there, and maybe the void at Day Tower was simply just a fluke. But as I came to the hunting ground near Valleymead, once again the world wasn't fully loaded in, and I fell through the floor once more and into the void, forcing upon me another reset in this journey. 
But instead of curling into a ball and crying in a corner, I realized one thing that I saw while I was at Mother's Crown. And that was that I could see a rendered tower in the distance from Devil's Grief. So that had me thinking, maybe if I go north, the world will still work there. But as I continued my journey north, guess what happened? No, you're wrong. I fell through the floor again. Unless you're right, congratulations. My hopes and dreams were crushed. So in order to lighten my mood, I decided to head back to Devils first, because there was a lot of stuff there, and I wanted to see the area where the Tallneck was in. But it turns out the game wasn't having enough fun with my suffering yet, so once again I fell through the floor and I guess the game had another laugh. So after my fourth journey had failed, now I basically wanted to just conclude that if I journeyed too far away from the Embrace, the world would simply be so broken that not even hitboxes were loaded in. So what did I find while I was on these journeys? Well, not really much more than I showed in these videos. The world is kind of broken and the graphics are very questionable. And if you go too far out, the graphics become even worse and eventually the hitboxes stop appearing and you can only fall through the floor. The only things that I did find is while you're inside this loaded area on the brace that looks pretty normal, is that you can come across animals and other loot you can pick up such as flowers and richwood. There's also a few boxes that actually have some loot in them, but given the fact that you have no weapons or really anything else at this point in the game, well, you can't really use it on anything. However, it was very fun to explore the world as Child Aloy, just to play around with it and also just see how broken it is. So now I wanted to finally answer the question, how do you get this glitch yourself? And of course, when I found it, I wanted to find a way to consistently get it, and it's actually pretty easy. But as I mentioned in the beginning, there are a few caveats to it, because this glitch only works on the PS5 version of the game. Because this glitch is a basically a save file that is bugged out, and only the PS5 creates this bugged out save file. So how you achieve this is all you have to do is start a new game playthrough on any difficulty, and play through the childhood section. Because then once you have become adult Aloy after skipping the first cutscene, once the adult section of the game starts, all you have to do is then pause the game and then load a save file. So as you can see here, while you load up your save files, you will notice that you have two autosaves for the point of the spear. You want to load up the one that is 10 seconds earlier than the other one. And as you load that one up, this save file will be bugged and you will be playing as child Aloy, as you can see right here and now you're free to explore the world yourself. So why does this not work on the PS4 version? So the footage you're watching right here is me trying to do the exact same thing on the PS4. Now, on this one you will also load up your save files and see you have two save files for a point of spear or two autosaves. However, when you attempt to load the one that is 10 seconds sooner, the one that is bugged on PS5, on PS4, it simply loads up the game normally and it shows you the cutscene again of you becoming a, or you playing as adult Aloy for the first time. So the save file basically works normally because this is what would happen if you also loaded the first save file that is listed first. So in other words, on the PS4, it just doesn't bug out the second save file here. Now to quickly explain why this does not work on the PC version as well, is because if you try to play through this childhood section on a new file on PC, and then load up your save files, you will notice on PC it only creates one autosave, and that autosave obviously works correctly, where you simply just spawn again with the cutscene playing of you coming out of the house as adult Aloy. So on PC it only creates one save file, and I have no idea why it creates two on the console version, but I'm not a developer so surely there's a good reason for this, or maybe it's just a bug that happens to, well, cause this glitch. So what is my conclusion as to why this glitch works? Well, I talked it over with some of the speedrunners that helped me test out this glitch, as well as figure out which versions of the game it works on. We concluded that it's likely because of how fast the PS5 is capable of saving. So it probably saves the game so fast on the first save file, which is 10 seconds before the other save file, that the world doesn't have a chance to fully load in and the game hasn't changed you to adult Aloy yet, it still sets you as a child Aloy. So it's likely that while you are playing through the childhood section, the game is programmed to only load that part of the map in order to save memory, and that's why the world looks like this. And again, the save file is created so fast that the game doesn't have a chance to change this on the PS5. 
This is why it likely doesn't work on the PS4 as well, is because the PS4 doesn't save as fast, but it still creates two save files. And again, on PC there's only one save file, and therefore there's no save file that has a chance to bug out, even if it saves the game quickly. One of the key reasons also why we concluded that this is likely due to how fast it saves was because when one of the runners called Dorian tested it out on his PS5 he couldn't get it to work but he was using remote play at the time to stream it to Discord so we could see what he was doing. He then tried it without remote play and it actually worked. So it's likely that remote play caused the console to lag a little bit, enough for the save file not to bug out because it happened after the game had made the changes. So that's why we conclude it's likely due to how fast the PS5 is. And keep in mind that if you want this glitch to work, make sure you are not using remote play while you do. Now I also did some research and it turns out another person has experienced this glitch before. They said on Reddit that it happened to them after the game crashed during the cutscene between the childhood section and the adult section of the game. So because of that, the game likely crashed before the second autosave was made, so when they loaded back up the game after the crash and hit continue, they would obviously get the save file that would be bugged out, likely again because the PS5 saved so quickly before the game has a chance to load in the proper things. I will leave a link to the Reddit post in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. I like to believe that that Reddit post also helps back up my conclusion. But of course, if you have your own ideas as to why this glitch occurs, please let me know in the comments below. Maybe you even have some experience with game development that could help back up your claims. I would like to hear what you guys think about it in the comments below. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me exploring this new glitch, and I hope you have some fun trying it out for yourself. If you do, let me know if you find something cool out there, because I would love to hear about it. And also, I want to give a shout out to the people that helped me test out the things for this glitch. So shout outs to Dorian Snowball, Demonic Robots, Made by Scar and Clooney for helping test out which versions of the game it works on. And I hope you enjoyed the video guys, consider subscribing if you're interested in more Horizon videos like this. But for now, I hope you have a great day. Take care.